Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do scoring like in Flappy Bird. Um, if you didn't catch my last video, I just showed you basic scoring, like it has a timer and every time that timer would run it would add a point. That was wrong, that's not the way Flappy Bird does it, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And also someone added in the comments to add how to do power-ups, so I'm also going to show that in the video. So thank you for watching this video. First off, I just want to say, if you followed my first tutorial, you guys are in the first, the right place. But if you did my second tutorial, you need to go back and delete anything that had to do with the score. Okay, so now let's get started by creating an actor. So actor, we'll call this score counter. Create another actor, and we will call this um, score. Now go to our attributes. Click the plus sign in the bottom left. Pick an attribute uh, of type integer, and we will call this score. Go back to our actors, double click on score, the score actor, and we will say display text. So display text, text, um, click the E, game.score. Okay. Now let's go to our score, I mean, sorry, let's go to our top bar. Copy the move to function and paste that into our score counter. Now we also want to create a rule that says, so create a rule, actor receives event overlaps or collides with actor of type player, then we want to destroy the actor. So destroy the actor. All right. Now let's go to our spawner. Click on spawn actor of uh, the top bar spawn actor, and we're going to paste that, copy and paste that. And we're going to change the actor to score counter and set the y value to game.topbar y minus 200. Okay, click the check mark. Now, I also created this separately, but you guys can do it if you want to. It's just basically. Um, it's just basically these four attributes right outside the rule. So when the game at automatic, when the game starts, it automatically spawns the actors. So that's just what I did. All right, now let's go to back. Click on our person, so player, and add a rule. This rule will say actor receives event overlaps or collides with actor of type. Um, score counter then we want to change the attribute so change attribute game dot score to game dot score plus one so game dot score plus one all right now I think I forgot to do this okay um, so now click on our score set the color opacity to zero Go back, click and drag the score. I think I clicked the wrong thing. Okay, uh, click and drag the score to the top left corner. And now double click on our score counter. We're going to change the color to uh, green, whatever, um, and set the opacity to a little bit smaller so you can see. So you can see what you're doing. So let's preview this. Okay. Oh. Well, anyway, guys, it works, but uh, let me just show you what I did wrong. So double click on our score counter, and we're going to set the size to the width of the tubes, so 50. Or if you want to make it smaller, so if they're like inside the tube, then they get the points. So you could actually set it to like 20 or something, so it's more centered. But I'm just going to set it to 50. So set the width to 50 and the height to 100, or whatever the space is in between the top bar and the bottom bar. So that it will determine your height. So there you have it. Now let's preview this again. There you have it. It all works. Um, let's just try it again with another one. Anyway, yep, there you go. Now let's go on into our power ups. So create another actor, call this one power up. Double click on power up, um, set the size to 
15 by 15. And go into our spawner. And we're going to copy and paste the top bar spawn actor function again. And we will set that to um, set the y value. Set, sorry, set the actor to power up and set the y value to game dot top bar y minus random. So it's not in the same place every time, unless you really want it to be in the same place every time. But uh, random between uh, 170 and 220. All right, now let's preview. Oh, I actually need to. Just copy and paste that real quick into my outside of the rule so it automatically spawns. Okay. So let's preview this. Oh, forgot something else. Okay, so now we need to go into our power up. Uh, I'm sorry. Go back to our top bar. Copy the move to function inside the top bar and paste that into our power up function. And we also need to create a rule that says. If actor receives event, overlaps, or collides with actor of type player, then we want to destroy the actor. So, destroy. All right, this will just give you the general idea of what it's supposed to look like. There's your power up. You get the one point, and then you hit the power up. Nothing happens right now, but I will show you what to do in a minute. So, double click on our person. And outside of the game .over is false function, we want to create a rule, so just outside of everything, we want to create a rule that says actor receives event, overlaps or collides with actor of type power up. We want to change the size. So change size minus 10. Actually, put in a timer that says 4. Uh, say 0.2 seconds then we want to change the growth rate minus 10 now copy and paste that and instead of minus 10 just put plus 10 so to give you an idea of what this is supposed to do alright guys so I found it was wrong I just learned that these two four functions are contradicting themselves so in order to fix that just add a timer that says after uh, like one second I'm just gonna put that for tutorial purposes but that'll be the amount of time after you hit the uh, power up then it goes back to normal so after one second make sure the run to completion is check marked for 2.2 seconds go back to normal so plus 10 all right now let's check this out okay that was a mistake from earlier don't pay attention all right, it hits the power up, goes back, now it's back. Yeah, I realize it's not exactly the same size because for some reason the power ups aren't destroying when they hit the actor. So I, I think that's a game solid problem right now, but I, I have it programmed in there. So if it hits the actor, it is automatic. The actor would be destroyed, but it's not working. Anyway guys, so that's it for this tutorial. If you guys liked it, please hit, make sure to hit that like button down below. And if you have any comments or questions, leave that in the comment section down below. And if you want to know more about me, check out my website and check me out on Twitter. Anyway, that's it guys. I'll see you in the next one.